This video will give an overview of the tunnel application available on Leica Geosystems FlexLine Total Stations. The tunnel app offers a wide range of applications such as staking out the cut outline of the tunnel, checking cut and fill after tunnel blasting, measuring profiles after the tunnel is finished. The tunnel app is available on the Leica TS06 Plus and TS09 Plus from firmware version 6 onwards. In addition to the onboard app, Tunnel Office software is also provided. To use the onboard Tunnel app, a license key is required, however the app will run in trial mode for the first 15 uses without needing a key. In the rest of the video, the following workflow will be described. Importing and defining the Tunnel projects in the Tunnel Office software, Uploading the tunnel projects to the Total Station. Using the Tunnel app on the Total Station. Exporting the measurements into the Tunnel Office software for further analysis. To start the Tunnel Office software, double click on the tunneloffice.exe file. On the left side, there are various functions and tools available. Clicking on Horizontal Alignment, you can import the horizontal part of the alignment by choosing an XML file. Once imported, you will see a graphical view of the alignment, as well as the details of the alignment elements. For the vertical part of the alignment, it is similar. Import the vertical alignment XML file and check the graphical view and the details of the vertical elements. Finally, access cross-sections for the tunnel profiles. Import the XML file containing the profiles and check the profile details graphically or by element. To upload your tunnel projects to the Total Station, you can use the Data Exchange tool, which is included in the Office software, or transfer the files via a USB stick. Let's see how to upload the files via a USB stick. Go to Horizontal Alignment, then Export Alignment. Save the Horizontal Alignment with the name Tunnel. The correct file extension gets added automatically. Now repeat this for the Vertical Alignment and the Cross Section, creating three files with different extensions. Next, copy these files to a folder called Tunnel on the USB stick and insert this into the instrument. Onboard the Total Station, enter the Tunnel app and access the Data Transfer menu. Choose to Upload and USB Stick, and then choose the part of the alignment to upload. The horizontal, vertical and cross-section profiles all need to be uploaded individually. Note that only one tunnel design is possible to load onto the instrument at any one time, so uploading new files will overwrite existing design data. Imagine you need to stake out the profile where the tunnel should be drilled and blasted. We will look at how to define the drill spacing and offsets which define the profile. Here you can see the first element of the profile drawn from A to B and we want to stake out every 0.5 meters along the profile. Choose Stake Out Measure from the main menu, define whether the profiles are tilted or vertical, and then choose Cut Outline Stake Out. Choose the appropriate cross section to stake, and then enter the drill spacing required. If there are no offsets required, press Set. In the point number field, choose which element of the profile to stake out. The letters indicate the start and end of the profile element, and the number is incremented according to the drill spacing. Take a distance to start the stake out. The horizontal and vertical differences are shown, and the point is staked out correctly when these reach zero. To move to the next drill point, with a distance measured, increment the point number and start the stakeout process again.
Imagine the tunnel has been blasted and you need to check the cut and fill in order to see if you are above or under excavation. Choose Cut Fill Check from the Stakeout Measure menu. Choose the appropriate cross section to check and then take a distance to start the stakeout information. Here in the map view we see the design cross section and the measured position. In this case, indicating an overbreak and showing the basic information in blue. Now the measurement indicates an underbreak, showing the information in red. Interact with the map by panning or zooming to get the best view. Or switch to the other pages to input further information or read out other stakeout values. Imagine the tunnel is now finished and we now have to scan a series of profiles for quality checks. In this example we need to check the profile every 2 meters, starting at chainage 2. From the stakeout measure menu choose profile scan. Enter the chainage that we are going to scan. Measure a distance at the start of the profile to start the process. The instrument is measuring correctly at the profile once the chainage difference is close to zero. The profile points can then be measured and stored. Point the instrument towards the next profile point and repeat the process until enough points have been measured to analyse the profile. The measured points are stored in the memory, ready to be exported to the office software for further analysis. After the field work is completed, you might want to export the measurements for further analysis or documentation reasons. From the main menu, go to Data Transfer. Choose to download a USB stick, for example. Choose which data type to download, in this case the profile scans, and then OK to transfer your data to the USB stick. Back in the Tunnel Office software, to check the profile measurements against the design, go to Cut Fill Compute. First, import the Tunnel Profile Design by going to Import D and choosing the Tunnel Cross Section file that you previously uploaded to the instrument. Then, to import the measured data from the USB stick, go to Import M and choose the OBS file on the USB stick. The imported scanned tunnel data is overlaid onto the project cross section and displayed in the view. To compare the measured data with the design data, choose the correct cross section chainage and press compute. The overbreak or underbreak values are computed and displayed. Go to the print chart option to print out the graphical cross-section comparison into an easy-to-view report page. Or go to the Print Data option to print out the difference values in a more tabulated format. To save the information as another format, such as a spreadsheet, image or DXF file, Use one of the options under the File drop-down menu. This video has shown how the tunnel application for the FlexLine Manual Total Station Series provides a complete workflow, from data preparation, staking, checking and scanning a tunnel, to data visualization and analysis. Thanks for watching.